Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Warren Tinanigo, and you're watching the FYI sessions where Filipino learners can savor bite-sized English lessons with me, Teacher Warren, and my references, the Merriam-Webster Dictionary and Prentice Hall Grammar and Composition book by Gary Ferlini and co-authors. I also would like to thank for this episode, www.fotco.com. Today, we will talk about the greatest enemy of brevity, logic, accuracy, and conciseness in message delivery, and that is redundancy. It refers to the needless repetition of ideas. Okay, but before I give you examples, some examples of redundant expressions, let me first introduce to you two examples of consonant sounds. And I consider them sisters because they have similarities and disparities. I want you to meet the sound and the sound shh, shh, okay. So shh is a phoneme which is characterized by lowercase letter s. In the transcription of a word in a Merriam-Webster dictionary, the lowercase letter s in the transcription is pronounced as and the combination of the lowercase letter s and lowercase letter h in a transcription is pronounced as sh. Therefore, the phoneme sh is definitely, or the two letters s and h are considered as a single unit. Therefore, in the word shall, there are three phonemes only, the sh the O, and the W. Okay, let's talk about, let's first focus the spotlight on the Okay. So the sample words are sans, sans. This means without, without. For example, sans clothing, so it means without clothing. I, I underline only the first letter S, it's because the last letter S in the transcription should be pronounced as Z. Z. Hence the pronunciation sans, sans. So in this word, only the first letter is assigned the sound. Next is esprit de corps. Esprit de corps. It means that's a common spirit felt by members of a group of organization, characterized by enthusiasm and pride in a group okay and the only the reason also why i only underlined one letter s the one which is part of the first word is pre it's because the letter s in the third word core is silent so it's not assigned the sounds it's pretty core next the third word is ounce ounce Ounce. I underline the other C because in that transcription, it is being represented by the S sound, making the last letter E a silent letter. Ounce. Ounce. When I was still a little kid, before I went to school, I usually pronounce it ounce. Ounce. I thought it's letter Z, the sound is Z, because the abbreviation of this unit of weight is, or unit of measurement is, OZ dot. So I thought the pronunciation is ounce. But then I realized when I checked the transcription, it's ounce. So again, just like what I told you before, the key to knowing the pronunciation is always to understand the pronunciation guide of a dictionary so that you can master the interpretation of each transcription. Okay? Located after the entry word. Last example for that sound is turtus. 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 Silent letter E, turtus. It's not tortoise. And we know that turtus is an example of a reptile, a cousin of our turtle, which usually spends most of this, uh, its time in the ocean or in the sea. Again, as in sans, esprit de corps, ounce, and turtus. Okay, it's now the turn of the shh sound, as in chaperone chaperone means escort or company or assistant next is chandelier chandelier 
It's it's a sophisticated lighting fixture. Shoo, shoo, shoo. Shoo is an interjection which you use if you want to drive away unwanted animals or most probably unwanted people in your life or anything which annoys you or who irritates you. <laughs> okay. Next is uh, we have ganache. 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 It's a sweet, creamy mixture of chocolate used for cake filling, pastry filling, or cake or pastry uh, frosting. Okay, again. is also redundant because the initialism ATM already has machine in it which is represented by the initial letter M. By the way, ATM is an example of an initialism which is an example of an abbreviation characterized by the use of initial letters in each word involved in it. So A, T, M. Okay. Automated teller machine. So remove the machine. Next. And etc. And etc. is redundant expression. And the very word that makes it redundant is the conjunction and. You remove the and. Etc. already refers to, to the idea of having to add something. So no need for and. So after the last element, you just have to uh, indicate comma and then write etc. You can spell it out or you can use the abbreviation etc. Period. For example, you will say, you will say fragments comma run on sentences comma misplaced modifier comma etc. Okay, no need for the end. Next, we have advanced. We say advanced planning, advanced warning, advanced reservation. Those are all redundant expressions. When you plan, you are doing something in advance. The same thing when you give a warning and the same thing in making reservations. So no need for the word advance. That's already implied in each of those words. Next is sweet candy. A candy is always sweet because the main or the base flavor profile is sweetness. Of course, you can definitely enhance and give it a little twist, like making it a little bit salty or sour, a little bit bitter and acrid. But the sweetness, the sweet flavor profile will always be there.
be. You can just say to wish it. And our last example is drop down. Now, drop down is acceptable as a jargon. A jargon is a technical term used, or it's a technical, it's a set of like terminology, uh, a technical, technical terms used in a particular field or sphere of knowledge. But in formal language, if it's not used as a jargon in information and communication technology, then you have to avoid, of course. Because drop, drop, of course, already implies, you know, descending direction. So down is not necessary. Anymore. Okay. For more examples of redundant expressions, you can always do your own research to add what I have.